Hello everyone. This question has been taken from Arado Fundamental Equation of Dynamics, question number 65. The question is: A plank of mass m1 with a bar of mass m2 placed on it lies on a smooth horizontal plane. A horizontal force growing with time, small t, as f is equal to a t, where a is constant, is applied to the bar. Find how the accelerations of the plank W1 and of the bar W2 depend on small t. If the coefficient of friction between the plank and the bar is equal to k, draw the approximate plots of these dependences. For the convenience, I have made this diagram. This bold line bold black line is the smooth plane the blue color is the plank the yellow color is the bar from the question it is given that the plane is smooth so there is no friction between the plane and the plank but there is friction between the bar and the plank surface and the coefficient of friction is k the question it says that f is equal to at is applied to the bar so what is happening here when this force is applied on bar bar will start moving in this direction moment this motion is set up the friction force between the bar and the plank will come up and from the friction concept we know that the friction starts rising and maximum it goes till its limiting value that is f is equal to k into normal reaction that n so this force since it is time dependent will linearly increase with the time right and the force friction force will also start gradually rising till the time it reaches to its maximum value that is limiting value so let us say capital t is the time when the friction force reaches to its limiting value k into n so we have to consider three things when small t the time t is lesser than capital t then the other case is when small t is equal to capital t and when small t is greater than capital t the three cases so till the time the friction force reaches to its maximum value bar and plank will move together so doubt doubt can arise that why the bar and plank should move together till till the friction force rises to its limiting value because moment the friction force rises to its limiting value that is k into n there will be a relative motion set up between the bar and the plank means sliding both of these will start sliding on each other so first we should go ahead with when small t is lesser than capital t so till the time the t reaches to capital t both of bar and plank moving together so this we can consider it as a system so what is the mass of the system m1 plus m2 external force applied on the system will be total mass into acceleration of the system because both are having the same acceleration so we have written w1 and the same during till t time till capital t time w1 will be equal to w2 where w1 is the acceleration of plank and w2 is the acceleration of bar 
So external force will be total mass into acceleration of the system, Newton's second law, NLM you can say. So F, the force, external force is capital F is equal to M1 plus M2 into W1. You can replace F with A into time. And from there we got it. W1 is equal to W2 is equal to A into T divided by M1 plus M2. So that is one part of the motion. Second, when small t, the time is equal to capital T. So at that time, the friction force will become K into N. And N, we know that it is, there is no motion in this direction. So N is, so the forces in this direction is always in equilibrium. So N will be equal to M to G. So friction force will be equal to K into M to G right now we take the free body diagram of plank so on plank only one force is acting that is the friction force and it's limiting and and we are considering the case at capital t time when the friction force has already reached to its limiting value that it k into n that is equal to k into m to g so we can write Newton's law of motion for this. F will be M1 into W, mass of the plank into acceleration, right? But F we know that K into M to G. So W1 will be K into G into M2 divided by M1. Until capital T time, both the um, plank and the bar is moving together. So acceleration W, 2 will be equal to W1. So this is the expression you got, the second of my equation. Now let us make the free body diagram of bar at time t. The force is A into t. Acceleration is W2. Force is equal, F is equal to K into M to G. That friction force will be acting in, in this direction on the bar because on plank, it is acting on this direction. So plank will plank will exert a friction force in this direction on the bar. Okay, equal and opposite to this. We write the equation of motion for this capital F minus small f is equal to m2 into w2. But W2 is equal to W1 from equation 3. So we will put that value here. And finally, we can get the capital T as this expression. K into G into M2 into M1 plus M2 divided by M1A. So you got the time T till, the, till which both plank and bar will move together. Now we'll consider the case T greater than T. So one thing is there. Once the time is greater than t and the friction force is not going to rise beyond this because this is the limiting friction, limiting value of it. So this force will remain same. So this will move with the same acceleration throughout after the capital T time. So Planck acceleration will be this only, which I have written over here. Okay. But this block, the bar, acceleration will change. Why? Because your now small t is greater than t. So f minus f is equal to m2 into w2. Put the value f is equal to a into t. Friction force k into m to g, m2 into w2. So w2 will be this. So these three uh, expressions what we got it in the red color we can use to make the graph so graph of acceleration against the time will be till t time both of the plank and the bar is moving with same acceleration and the acceleration value is this No, sorry. Acceleration value what we have? 
detected in the last page. After that, the plank will go with the same constant acceleration. So, so this is the constant acceleration. So this line will be parallel to your time line so that W is fixed. So W1 will become constant after this point. But bar, the force is varying, the force is rising still. And this is what we got the expression for that. The slope has increased. If you go and check the slope, so A by M2. Earlier, the slope was A by M1 plus M2. So here the slope was lesser. So now the slope has increased. So it has gone like this. And this way it will keep rising. So hopefully you understood the concept of solving it. In case of any doubt, please do let us know or let me know through your comment in the comment box. I'll come back on it. Thank you.